So we figured since it was Valentine's Day, and we played King's Quest 1 last time, that uh, the natural um, progression progression from that would be to play King's Quest 2, of course, but not just King's Quest 2. I'm going to have to switch to the desktop to uh, open it because it's dumb that way. But King's Quest 2 is also... Oops, I didn't mean to go right into it, jerk. Stop ruining our stream already. Just saying, ooh. And sleep. Why is, there we go. Now it's going full screen on us. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Because King's Quest 2, Romancing the Throne, as it is called. <laughs> it's a pun on it, Romancing the Stone. Yes. It, it, it works quite well for the Valentine's Day in all of us. It's true. Anyway, now Sir Graham is the king, and everyone loves... All of his people that aren't here love him. Like the uh, the leprechauns and that one woodcutter guy. Don't forget the ogre who beat the living uh, crap out of him. Unfortunately, King Graham is lonely and so on. He searched high-low for the right maiden, but little did he know there are literally no women in his entire kingdom except for the one married to the woodcutter. <laughs> Don't forget the witch! Go marry her! Well, that's true, but he killed the witch. Oh, yeah. Go marry her ashes. <laughs> um, I don't think that produces any heirs. So now we've got the magical plot device mirror happening. This happens in at least three King's Quest games where they're like, How do we start this game? Let's just have them look into the mirror and see their objective. Um, there's a beautiful girl. Oh, what the H? <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> she, she's horrifically deformed, even for a pixel girl. Well, so he has to put on his hat so they don't have to reanimate him with a crown in the last game. You know, save a bit of money. Um, also, if you notice earlier, his movement in the mirror didn't actually match his movement walking back to the throne. So it's it was like Quantum Leap. That's the That's the reference I'm making. The, the mirror doesn't match. Anyway, so now we're suddenly on a beach. How's that like Quantum Leap? Because in Quantum Leap, whenever he looked in the mirror, he saw someone else. But oh yeah, most of the time the the movement didn't actually match the. Um... That's a reference from the late '80s, early '90s, folks. Right. Just so we those still of you out there. We're we're still saving it as butts. What? Oh, I gotta hold on. I gotta pull the uh the the chat up. I don't actually have it open. Despite that horrific-looking woman, the graphics are slightly better in this game. Slightly. Just a tiny, teensy bit. And... Now we're a bit good. Well, well, this was like a year later. Look, there's actual animation with the water. It's There's Ooh. like splashings and crashings. It makes a crash a sound. A crash. So, anyway, so King's Quest II... Um... Despite Romancing the fact the that the, the graphics are a little better than King's Quest 1, I, I dare to say the storyline is even um, less original, I want to say. It's kind of the black sheep of the King's Quest franchise. Can I move this log? How so? Or are we going to find out? Um, We'll kind of find out. It's a, it's Ooh, there's a clam. Ooh, get that clam! Ooh, there was a sparkling sapphire diamond bracelet underneath it. Because that makes sense. Fantasy game, man. Pick what's, up stuff, you find loot. What's in the clam is the question. It is empty. There is nothing special about it. Wah, wah, wah. Are you going to save that as wah, wah? Oh, you wrote it. <laughs> I just, just typed it in. Um, and there's an airplane rock. That's what it always looked like to me. Airplane rock! Now, the, the problem with King's Quest 2 is that it's... um. It's very random in its puzzles. Like, it, a lot of its puzzles... Like Ikken it it, it Kog and Grog and Perm? Ikken Kog and Grog and Perm is still probably the hardest puzzle in the entire King's Quest franchise, but technically you don't have to solve it to beat the game, because if you guess it wrong, then he just gives you a key to that door that opens the stairs. True. You can still get into the clouds. True. This game just has some really F.U. moments. Here's a trident you just find on the beach, because why not? Quite. Um... Hey, I'll I'll sh I'll show you what I mean as we go on. But so now we've done a an entire run down the beach. We, all all we know is that that there's a 
quote unquote handsome maiden somewhere in this land. A handsome maiden? A handsome maiden, shut up. A beautiful. With a beautiful knight and a handsome maiden, they're going to be an interesting <laughs> couple. We will s go out and save beautiful monsters from ravening princesses. <laughs> ravening? I like that word, even though I'm not sure it exists. No, it's true. No. Oh. So, or rampaging, I guess. So here's some. For example, here's the example of a dumb puzzle. So here's Grandma's house, right? A little red riding hood. Grandma's. If you look, if she's got a, a goodies in her mailbox, so somebody has mailed her um, a basket of goodies. In fact, here's what they look like. Bet you're going to steal them. It looks delicious. No, you don't steal them. You're a knight. You're you're very honorable and, and crap. What's a paladin? Uh. <laughs> So, you're like, oh, well, maybe I'll just open the door and deliver these to Granny, you know, because that's what she, she wants her goodies, right? First of all, sometimes randomly, the big bad wolf's in there and tries to, <laughs> wah! He gotta get you! Wait, hold on. Does the wolf do the same thing as he does in the first game? The question. Let's see. We gotta find out. Let's find out. What do you do, wolf? Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> Popcorn ball flight! Wow, what big teeth he has. Good enough to eat you with, my dear. <laughs> it's like it's the exact same animation. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. Look at that popcorn ball go. Well, I'm not going to redraw that, but it, uh, true. It's still funny. This um, so this one you actually get a a message from Ken and Roberta Williams, wish to thank you for playing this game. You totally suck. Thanks, Roberta Williams. But here's the thing. So you're like, oh no, how do I get rid of this wolf? Is there a way to do it? Is there a way to get rid of this wolf? The way to get rid of the wolf is just keep opening the door till it's not there anymore. Puzzle <laughs> solved. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so let's talk to Grandma then. If I can spell her name. Uh, good day, kind sir. I would like to offer you a cup of tea, but I'm ailing. I like your voice acting. Why? It's... I've got a picture of Christopher Columbus on my wall. I don't <laughs> what? know. Look. Oh yeah, it is Christopher Columbus. <laughs> no, that's that's Sir Graham. If you look that at is... it. What's not even close? No, he's wearing the hat. He's turning to the side. What? First of all, this is a different kingdom. Second of all, she's heard of him. She fancies him. So you think you give the goodies to Grandma? She looks at the bag, the basket of goodies. This belongs to my granddaughter. You ought to return it to her. Which gra her granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood, by the way, spoilers, um, is bringing the basket of goodies to Grandma. So, what? I guess we have to give her the pleasure of giving them to Grandma. Anyway, she's just wandering around randomly somewhere. So. See if we can find her at some point. Anyway. So that's that's the example of one puzzle that doesn't really make sense. Speaking of things that don't make sense, here's a Catholic monastery. Why wouldn't that make sense? In this land of magic and... I don't know. Hey, man. So... Story time. So this. Oh wait, is this the one that they re? You showed me the redo of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, th this one, this one that got remade by AGD, and they completely retooled the story. Like, like it bears maybe the basic plot resemblance to this, but hardly anything else because this game is just so completely random. Right. For example. For example. This monk is just a normal monk in this game, right? Right. And uh, we it killed the music when I say. And it. then, and then in the remake, he is something different. I won't say what because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who has not played it because it's really good. Go go play it. Yeah. But um, we know you all are going to go out and immediately play it now. So story time. When I was very young, we uh we had King's Quest two, and um we would all watch my oldest sister play it. And um, whenever we got to the screen and, and King Graham had to pray, uh, we'd all start singing MC Hammer. Be um, because there's a song. You got to pray just to make it today. That's why we pray today. You, I, don't, I don't know, don't the, know song. the song. I don't know what that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, you didn't have my back, man. I've heard it before, but it's been a long right. time. Dude. He asked my name, and it's Graham. Got to pray, pray, pray. It's anyway. you got to pray. Anyway, so um, so the monk has heard of me in my quest, despite the fact that my quest is I looked in a mirror and then sailed here. 
And then suddenly he starts talking without quotation marks. No quotation marks. Here's my cross. It will protect you from evil. Blah, 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 blah. Get a silver cross. Okay, so now we've got a cross. So now we can wear the cross. And King Graham is now officially Catholic. I mean, he <laughs> didn't get baptized or anything, but he's got a rosary on. He's a catechumen. That's right. Look it up. No. Oh, <laughs> it, it means an unbaptized uh, You're an unbaptized believer. Okay, so, and this fairy does the same thing as the fairy godmother in the first one, which means that wolves that attack us um, won't, it, we've got a spell so we don't get killed immediately. For a little while. That's nice, and then it disappears. So, um, I was going to say something else about this monastery, and I totally forgot what it was. So screw it, I won't say it. What? And let's not fall off the edge. Okay, so here's here's another classic screw you moment for King's Quest 2. So this bridge is a sent you gotta get across this bridge to to beat the game. But you can only cross it the exact number of times that you need to cross it to beat the game. You notice I got some points when I cross it. And if you cross it any more than that, then the game is unwinnable. Like even if you just do it once early on, the last time you have to cross it, it will just break and you'll die. So, that sucks. Anyway, here's a door in the middle of nowhere. This is a magical door! Hey, hey! <laughs> it's a poisonous door. It's not a poisonous door. You have okay. to read the door. Whoever chooses to seek the key for this door will undoubtedly make a splash. You know what that means. They'll have to go to the bathroom. Oh, it means that we're going to Broadway! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not what I expected. Oh. Well, I, ju I can't imagine what else it would mean. I mean, if you think about it. So, now I've crossed that bridge twice. It gave me another point, by the way, if you noticed. So I, I guess that's your that's your clue that um that crossing the bridge is something significant because it gives you points, I guess. So. Yeah. Well, there it is. There it is. Another nice thing about King's Quest 2 that's an advantage over King's Quest 1 is... Oh, crap. Never mind. I was thinking you didn't have to press the swim button, but then you do have to press the swim button. Oh, never mind. I am not even sure where I'm going. I'm just going up. Oh, here's the antique store. It's the Ooh. antique boutique. The sign says closed. I don't understand, nuts. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we've got chatters. Um, oh crap, an evil enchanter just as I'm looking at chat. Why have you distracted me, chat? That's The uh, thing is, if it, it just poofs away because I've got that uh, spell on. It literally said poof for like half a frame. I saw it. I um, liked it. There are no square castles yet. Actually, actually, there might be a square. Are, are yeah. Is Chad asking about Square Cast? Yeah, Chad is asking about Square Cast. Listen, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> no getting on my case about Square Castles today, okay? I love Square Castles. Look, Square Castles are dumb. Square Castles are That's... in Final Fantasy. Ah! <laughs> Touche. Look, there's a Square Castle. Do you like the design of it? Do you? Yes! Do actually, you? I enjoy that a great deal, and I may draw it later. All right. I'd later. You know whose castle that is? Uh, Dracula. You'll find out. Anyway, so this lake right here is a poisonous lake. It will kill you immediately if you try to swim in it, or drink it, or do anything with it, really. <laughs> it's there f just to be a jerk. And it's like a million screens long. Anyway, so we gotta go make a splash. Well, we can't do it in the poisonous lake. Maybe this crappy little lake over here. Everybody loves it. I made a splash. Does that mean I win? No. Oh. But I think we can get an Easter egg to appear up here. Mm. Yes, it's this screen. A delicious okay, so, Easter So this egg. is the screen of the cave of Hagatha. You look at the cave. Uh-oh. Forbidding Cave is the home of Hagatha, the wicked old hag. She didn't have any career options after she was named Hagatha. Human skulls on stakes. Not a reassuring sign. 
There's like a bat sign. 